everybody. Hi. Welcome to our class today of how to tune. Today, we are going to be visiting a swamp in Louisiana. So we'll be seeing some characters we've done some before, some new ones too. Um, we're going to mix it up a little bit. Um, as always, be sure to encourage one another, cheer each other one on, each other on, um, and be proud of your own work as always, okay? All right, we're about ready to get started. We're going to jump right into the class today. So let's begin. <laughs> assuming everyone is ready with your paper and your pen. Um, quick hellos to everybody. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you. I know uh, Riley's here, and of course, Tori's here, and uh, Aria's here. Oh, my goodness. Lots and lots of friends visiting today. Nice to see you all again. Okay, we're going to start with a crawdad. Um, the best way to describe it, if you've never seen a crawdad, they're like almost like little lobsters, uh, very popular in Louisiana. So let's begin. Blank piece of paper, everyone. Okay, here we go. All right, we're going to start with the eyes. One. Two. Period. Period. Good. So that's out, around, and up. Yeah, crayfish is another way of saying it. Uh, crayfish, crawfish. I think there's lots of other names for them, too. All right. And now for the mouth. So it's over, dash, down, over, and up. Across and a dash. Eyebrows. Sort of like a curly mustache. Okay, now we're going to start drawing the segments. Segments look like this. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now for the tail, three segments, one, two, three. Two lines out on either side for what are essentially going to be arms. Can it be a cross chef? Uh, one of our friends asked. Sure, we can make it into a cross chef. I'll show you how we do that in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and add the claws. Dash, dash. Okay, so you're going to come around. 
scribble, 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 and in. Around, scribble, 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 in. Out, in, out, in. So for the chef's hat, you've got to just add a little rectangle here right behind the eyebrows. Right above the eyes, behind the eyebrows. And then up and one, two, three, and in. A couple of dashes like that. Okay, now for legs. One, two, three, four, and we'll squeeze two in down here. Oh, Aria asked about the um, contest. I, I'm waiting to get the rest of the prizes in before I announce it. So I'm sorry, it's, it's just taking a little longer to get the prizes in just because of um, coronavirus and so forth. So I promise I will announce it soon, but um, just not yet, just because uh, I want to make sure I have all the prizes in so I can announce them all, but very soon. And then just a little bit of land right there. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. There is your crawfish or craw daddy or craw chef. <laughs> okay. We're going to draw another crustacean. Uh, we're going to draw a crab. It's another uh common character you'd find down in Louisiana. A crab. All right, blank piece of paper, everyone. All right, for the crab, we're going to start with out, down, in, up, in. Okay, good. And then the eyes we're going to put like this, right on top. One, two. And then the pupils. Hi, Aria. Thanks for joining us. And I see Gabriel's here. Who else is here? Oh, Zach made it in? Good. All right. Dash, over, dash, letter U, add the tongue, and shade in. Add a dash. We are drawing a crab. I see Riley's here too. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I want two little squares, and then up, up, 
One more. One more. Round. In and out. Round. Scribble, scribble, zigzags. Out and in. Lastly, I'm going to add some eyebrows. And then sign your name. Take pride in your work. There is your crab. Next up is one we've we've done sort of before. We've, we've drawn crocodile before, but we're going to draw an alligator this time. They have certain similarities. So next up is an alligator. Very popular character in Louisiana. And let's set that aside. One of the things I, I'm starting to do with the classes is I'm going to draw... Um, animals from different states. So today we're looking at uh, the Louisiana Bayou, but um, if you'd like me to learn, teach, to draw some of the animals in your state, make sure you visit the, um, the front page of the, the howtotune.com of the YouTube channel, uh, the community section, and leave a suggestion for what state I should draw next, okay? All right, here we go with an alligator. Now, I'm going to draw a, more of an anthropomorphic alligator so it has certain human qualities. We're going to start with the eyes. One. And two. And then one. And two. Now, remember today we're visiting a swamp in Louisiana. So these are all creatures you would find near at or near a Louisiana swamp. Down. And then the other. That forms the eyebrows. Oh, I forgot to put the logo up today. There we go. All right, round and up, round and up. Snout, nostril, nostril. Out. And in. A little chubby cheeks there. We're going to make a little bit of a chubbier alligator. Lines on top of the sound and they come down, out. Up, down, and in. You can also leave, um, if you can have suggestions for things to draw, you can also leave them in the comments of any video at all. I try and check all the videos. Next, we're adding teeth. Teeth are just sort of the letter V over and over. And then we see a little bit of the tongue, and then we shade in the rest. All right, start to see the back of the neck here. Then we're going to skip down right about here, and we're going to add an arm and one, two, Three little claws, elbow, and in. So it's a letter V, down, a letter M, 
in letter C and up. Robin says, this alligator crocks me up. Okay, come down. Add a line like that. Back up to this jaw, two lines there, and then we're going to add the stomach. Now watch how we add the, the underbelly here. Notice how I'm sort of curving in over and over, over and over, right to about there. Okay. Good. Now for the legs, letter V. One, two, three, around, like that. And then just connect this right into that leg. Okay, got it. And then we're going to come up, around, add the tail, and back in. It's a very chubby alligator. Normally I make my alligators kind of thin, but I wanted to make a chubby alligator here. So I just look at the other, other, add the other arms and legs. So the other leg is just sort of sticking out here. One, two, three toes, and in. Good. And then the other hand is right here. One, two, three, and in. Down, connect. Down, connect. And then lines coming from the underbelly like that. And then you might have a little bit of texture, just some little spots here and there that show the scales. A little something to show that he's in the swamp. And then sign your name. Take pride in your work. There is your alligator. Next up is uh, an animal. I think you all, th these are throughout the United States, but they're especially, uh, you do see a lot of them in swamps. And that's a possum. So next up is a possum which is the only marsupial uh, in the United States uh, that naturally occurs here. So, next up is a possum. We're going to start with the eyes. One, two, and then the pupils. Now, we're going to make this possum hanging from a tree by its tail. So it's a little bit of detail in this one. Be sure and like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, okay? Sorry guys, I accidentally hit the wrong button. All right. There's a nose, chubby cheek. I like your jokes. I like everybody's jokes. I like puns. I like dad jokes. I like all kinds of stuff. In fact, I think we need to do another dad joke day. So you got letter V for the mouth and then in, around.
scribbly little hair on top of the head there. See that tongue and then shade in. Ear, then up, like that. Okay, so you got one arm, scribble, scribble, and up, another arm, scribble, scribble. I think we should do a whole week of dad joke days. Every day, dad jokes for a whole week. <laughs> Thumb, one, two, three, and in. One, two, three, and then behind. Stomach. And leg. I know this looks weird right now, but don't worry. It's going to make sense because we're going to have the possum hanging down from a tree branch. Okay. So to have it hanging down from a tree pan, tree branch, we're going to come up, square it off, and down. Okay, and then one, two, three, and then we add the tree branch in. So one line this way, one line that way, one line that way, that way. I missed your pun. You have to say it again. I, I couldn't. Ca I didn't catch it. Post it again. I'll put it up. Just post, post it again. Okay, a little bit of texture on the tree branch. And then we see the tail, the rest of the tail here. And here. And you sort of add stripes on the tail. You see the other foot just sort of tucked back here. Quick little scribble. And then we add the underbelly, which is just a little line like this. If you want, you can add some leaves on the trees. You don't have to do that. And then sign your name. Take pride in your work. There's your possum. Anything is possible. All right, there's your possible. Oh, someone gave me a, a don't like. Totally possum. That's awesome. Really, Mr. Joe, you like puns? You are you kidding me? That's totally possum. <laughs> okay oh someone has a good comic idea well, i can't wait to see it okay next up let's take a blank piece of paper next up as we visit our swamp is a snapping turtle snapping turtle 
I was once chased by a snapping turtle. They don't run very fast, but I thought it was an alligator. And I started running. And I told my friends, run, run, it's an alligator. And they, they looked and they saw it was a turtle. But they're pretty ferocious things, snapping turtles. Pretty ferocious. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with the eyes. Okay. Those is almost like a beak. Good. All right, now for the shell. Come over, up, and down. And shade this in. Some little bumps. And over and down. Up, round up. Those these little spikies on the back. And in. Good. Uh oh, we have three dislikes. Somebody does not like hearing me do puns. And then on the back of the shell, you have just this designs. Like that. Adding a little bit of shading here on these little bumps. I think a couple more of them here and there. Okay, now for the uh, legs. It's it's sort of just you gotta gotta draw what looks right for you. Those I shade in underneath in here. It's just sort of uh, they're very um, I guess almost flipper like. Okay. And sign your name, take pride in work. There is your snapping turtle. All right, next up is one we've actually done before, but um, we'll do it a little bit different, like to change these up. We're going to do a pelican. Okay, a pelican. All right. So next up is a pelican. Blank piece of paper, everyone. Next up, a pelican. 
Again, we're drawing all animals that you would find in the Louisiana swamps and the bayou. Maybe down in New Orleans. Keep doing that. Okay. Next up is a pelican. We're going to start with the eyes. One like this. And then top of the head. Good. Okay. Now, going to do something different this time. We're going to make a little fish poking out of his mouth. So leave a gap. Okay, leave that gap right there. Pelicans eat pelicans of sardines. <laughs> I suppose a pella could. Okay. Now, here's where we're going to make the little fish poking out. We're going to draw little fins like this. See how I did that? Then, we see the fish poking its head out. Now, the interior, we've got one line down, two lines down, and then just sort of shade in here, okay? All right, now, from up here, top of the beak, come right behind the eye, and down and in. And then from back here, come up, in and connect. Eyebrows and feathers, then in neck, wing. Down, up, tail feathers. Good. Now for the legs and feet. One line down, two lines down, one line down, two lines down. Around, letter W and N. Around. Letter W and N. Let's make it sort of standing on a wooden uh, post. And then sign your name. Take pride in your work. There is your pelican. Leave that up for a minute to finish. Next up is a frog and a dragonfly. Frog and dragonfly. 
All right. There's our pelican. Nicely done, everybody. Blank piece of paper. Next up is a frog and a dragonfly. Start with the frog. Big round eyes. One, two, and then the pupils like so. Good. Now for the nose and mouth, come out to a point, up, at a dash. Leaving where we left off, right where we left off, come here, down, out, in. For this eye, come down around. Okay. Our hands out and then one, two, three fingers and up. Then disconnect from here to here. We're drawing a frog, and then we're going to draw a dragonfly with our frog. For the hind legs, the, the bottom legs, we've got a number two, and then around and in, out, round and in, out, around, and in, and up. Okay? So it's a number two. Stretch it out. In, out, in, out, in, and up. And then connect from here to here. And then we just see one other foot, little toe sticking out. Very good, everyone. Doing great. Now you just got to connect these up. One, two and then connect from here to here. Now maybe we see the fingers sort of just sticking out just like that. Good. Now for the tongue. Tricky, you gotta come right from the back here, up, around, Look, point around and then follow it back in. Stay close, stay close, stay close, stay close. Keep following it all the way in, all the way in and connect. Take your time. Now inside the mouth, you've got a line coming down, and then a line here, a line coming up, and a line here, and then you're going to shade in behind those lines. Now we're going to make uh, make him sitting on a lily pad. We're going to come around, in. Up, circle, down, in. All right. A little bit of water there in the swamp, we see. Now the dragonfly. Dragonfly is very easy. So you have two eyes, letter C and connect. And then a body like that. One, two, three, four, five. Little lines like that. All right.
right, and then the wings. We move that down so you can see it nice and clear. There we go. I think this is going to be, let's see, we're at 140. This is probably the last one. We're going to finish up with this one. Connect here. Eyebrows. Eyebrows for our little dragonfly. Maybe just a little bit of background here, just some marsh. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. There is your frog. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, we don't have a lot of people tuning in today. Oh, maybe if we get just a couple more likes, I'll do one more, okay? Let's see if we get a couple more likes on there. We're at 17 likes. Any chance we can get up to 20? I don't know. There's not that many people tuned in today, so... We'll see if we can get up to 20. If we can, we'll do one more, okay? Oh, don't no reason to be sad. Don't worry. No reason to be sad. Okay, let's see. Got any likes coming in there? We can do, let's see. What should we do for our last one? Getting a blank piece of paper ready. All right, I'm going to switch over to so you guys can take a look. So I, I, we're going to do one more, I think. Let's see. Oh, I got one more like on there. All right, let's see. We're going to do one more. Um, I don't know if I have anybody from uh, Louisiana who tunes in. Do I have anybody who tunes in from Louisiana? I don't think so. We might. Uh, let's see. We need one more Louisiana swamp animal. What would be a good one to draw? Let's see. Any ideas? We did an alligator. We did a frog. Um, what else can we do? Anybody have any ideas? I'm open to ideas. Let's see. Well, I got a few suggestions. I don't see any suggestions coming in yet. Let's see. What should we do for a one more Louisiana swamp creature? Let's see. Oh, don't worry about it. Everybody get along. Now, come on. Let's. Uh, we're at 20 likes, so I am going to do one more. All right. We made it to 20. We're going to do one more, but I need everybody to pay attention, of course. Okay, um, so there are these giant swamp rats called Nutria, which, ugh, they're creepy. I don't know if I like those. We could do a crane. Um, remember, it's something that lives in Louisiana. Um, I think a crane might be very nice, actually. Let's do that, okay? Let's do... A crane. All right. All right, here we go. A crane. Unusual uh, shape of eyes for us. And then a circle. And then a dot. And then color in around that. Very nice. Okay. And then up and in. Now for the beak. Got it? 
Good. And just a little. I love your uh, origami. It's very nice. I'd, I'd, we'll have to check out um, your channel to see the origami crane that you made. That's very cool. You can go ahead and uh, post your uh, channel if you want to. I'll make sure that it shows up. Um, R.E.S., when is uh, I got to announce the competition? I'm just waiting for a couple of the prizes to come in. Uh, and then I'll announce it. And yes, it will be absolutely 100% free. Um, I was hoping to announce it over the weekend, but I'm still waiting for some prizes to come in. Okay. All right. So the neck of the crane come down and in, down and in. Okay, so check out Tori Gaming um, if you'd like to see uh, an origami crane made by one of our, our friends here. Okay. Those are the legs, and then I'm gonna bump it up just a little bit, and then we have a foot, and then this other one is just sort of in the water. So you draw a line, and then just a few little lines like that, and then sign your name, take pride in your work. There is your crane. Nice job, everybody. Good job today uh, as we visited our swamp. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Tuesday, very special day. It is Superhero Day. And we're going to create our own silly superheroes. I want to try and go for some silly, funny ones. So, Try and think of some fun superhero ideas. We'll go through the process of how to create them. Check it out tomorrow. I will be posting the contest information very soon. Uh, just waiting for a couple of the surprises to come in for that. Um, thank you all very much. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the subscribes. Be sure to check out the page. I'll be posting um, some how-tos later on today. Uh, I'm actually going to post a, um, a porcupine, I think, is one of the ones I'm going to post today. So check those out. And remember to encourage one another, support one another, be proud of your work as always. Nice job. I will see all of you tomorrow. So be sure and stay tuned.